Tishani Doshi boarded a Russian research ship, Academic Shokolsky, heading towards Antarctica. The journey began 13.09 degrees north of equator in Madras, involved nine time zones, six checkpoints, three water bodies and ecospheres. She had been traveling over 100 hours, so she felt relief on reaching. And also wondered about its immensity. 650 million years ago, a supercontinent, Gondwana, existed, centered at now Antarctica. That time humans didn't exist and climate was warmer. To visit Antarctica, is to understand the significance of Cordilleran folds and Precambrian granite shields, ozone and carbon, evolution and extinction. It gets mind-boggling to think India jamming against Asia to form Himalayas, South America drifting to join North America, keeping Antarctica desolate. For her, two weeks in a place where 90% of the total ice is stored, is a chilling prospect, both for metabolic functions and imagination. Days go on and on in 24-hour austral summer light, and silence is present everywhere. Human civilization has been found just 12,000 years old. We've dominated over nature with villages, cities, megas. Climate change is one of the most hotly contested debates. Population rise has resulted in global warming. Antarctica is a crucial element in this debate as it has never sustained a human population, it holds half million year old carbon records in its ice cores. Students on Ice takes high school students to Antarctica provide them a life-changing experience. It's impossible go near the South Pole and remain unaffected. When you see ice shelves collapsing, you realize the threat is real. Antarctica, because of simple ecosystem and no biodiversity, is best place to study how little changes in environment can have big reactions. Phytoplankton, a single-celled plant in the sea performs photosynthesis. These grasses sustain the South Ocean's food chain. Scientists warn that depletion in ozone layer will affect its activity, which will affect the global carbon cycle. At 65.55 degrees south, the ship wedged into a stretch of ice. The captain decided all the 52 persons will walk on the ocean. Below them was a meter-thick ice pack, and below it 180 meters of seawater. Crab-eater seals were stretching, just like stray dogs. Tishani wondered what will happen if Antarctica becomes warm again. Subscribe. For more videos.